Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This one is going to be a few tips on your A-level and GCSE mocks that might be coming up. So whichever year you're in right now, if you've got exams coming up, these are some things that I did back when I had these exams and that helped me. And so hopefully if you try and apply some of the tips here today, even if you think you're screwed right now, hopefully by the end of this video, I'm gonna give you some sort of reassurance and give you something you can walk away with. And so hopefully you actually do decent in these mock exams. But at the end of the day, they are mock exams. You don't need to stress too much. But remember, this is the closest thing you're gonna get for the real thing. So you really want to try and put your best efforts into these because this is going to be the most realistic depiction of how your real exams are going to go. And yeah, I don't want to waste any of your time because I know you've definitely got some revision to be doing. So let's just get straight into it. Okay, first thing I want to say, right now you're probably feeling quite overwhelmed, especially if you're looking at all these different like topic lists for all your different exams and you're just like, where do I even begin? Especially if you know that you've got so many topics that you just don't know anything about and you need to go over them all before your exam. It can be quite overwhelming, especially if you're in like year 11 or year 13. You've got so many topics across the two years that you have to shove into for this one exam that's going to be practically impossible if you hadn't already been revising to go over all of it so the first thing i want to tell you guys is to try and plan things out okay because right now we're quite close to our exams you're probably going to have them quite soon now so what i recommend doing is to either on a pen and paper or i personally prefer doing on a google sheets online to try and make out all the different days you have before your exam and also make out all the different topics that you have and try and work out when you're going to do different topics okay so the best thing you can do right now is try and focus on some topics more than others so look at which topics you think you're not that strong with and you know that are probably going to come up more especially the topics that you did recently within the year because those topics are probably going to come in quite a lot just so they know that you've done those things if that makes sense what you really want to do is you want to find all these different topics and you want to try and put them into different days and work out when you're going to do everything you don't really want to just focus on one subject each day now i personally don't recommend that i think it's better for you to do some topics of one subject and then some topics of another subject at the same time for now because because you've got some time before your exams so right now try and like interweave all of them but don't try and do all of them at once okay if you're doing GCSEs for example and you're trying to do like nine subjects worth of information all at once you're only going to do a very small amount of every subject or even in A-levels I don't really recommend doing all of your A-levels worth of content all in one day right rather just do maybe like two subjects and do a few topics of either subject in the same day or across the week and then focus on the other one try and like rotate them between the different subjects if you get what I mean and so now you have these list of topics Topics, right and you should have now designated days for when you're going to do these topics that's all fine now what you actually meant to do this is the more important part okay now you know that you have to do I don't know let's say atomic structure on Tuesday okay what does that mean when you actually have to sit down and you have to do atomic structure what do you actually do in that scenario so this is going to lead to my next point now this really depends on how comfortable you are with these different topics okay so if you're at a stage where let's go back to atomic structure for example if you're at a stage where you just know nothing like you know absolutely zero if you were to do questions right now you'd get every single one of them wrong like you wouldn't even have an idea of where to begin that's a problem that means that you should i would recommend to watch a few videos first okay try and spend as little time towards this as you can try and just watch a few videos so you get an overall idea of the topic okay do a few questions here and there but try and focus on understanding it first and then as soon as you've understood the very basics of it move straight to practice questions this is the most important part and this is my most important tip this is something you're probably expecting me to say as well and this is the practice questions for your mock exams you want to focus primarily on just spamming those questions okay specifically topic based exam questions do as many of them as you can the biggest mistake you can make right now is to think oh you don't know a topic well enough so you're gonna wait for the practice questions you're not gonna do them until like late like maybe day before exam or something or you might just leave them entirely and be like I'll do practice questions before my real thing that is something you should not be doing if you know atomic structure for example if you know it decently go straight to questions and when you're doing questions what you want to do is each time you get a question wrong to make a note of that question make it into a document for example or try and make a flash card out of it something like that so each time you get questions wrong you know where you went wrong and you know what to say next time but over time the more questions you do the more this list of wrong questions is going to increase and so eventually you're going to have a long list of different questions that you can go back to and you know that these questions you got wrong last time and you're not going to get wrong again okay because remember when you walk into your exam you're going to be doing questions that's the only way you're going to do well if you can answer your questions well then you know that you're going to pass the exam or you're going to get an a star or you're going to get a nine or whatever you want to get right and the only way to do well at questions is to do questions you can't do well at questions by knowing the content you need to be able to know how to answer those questions when you're doing questions i really recommend for you to do one question so like question 1.1 1.2 whatever and then mark it and then do question two and then do question three and like mark it each time you finish the question rather than doing an entire question pack and then marking that's not a good idea so i've been talking a lot about 
doing things and making sure that you're not only reading over your notes and actually getting yourself involved. One thing I've used personally myself in a more sort of general sense to build upon my knowledge in this interactive way is this website and app called Brilliant, the sponsor of today's video. So if you haven't heard me talk about Brilliant before in some of my other videos, Brilliant is basically this place where you can learn new information, whether it's through programming, AI, data analysis, science, maths, or through a very interactive approach. And so that each time you learn something new, you always have a way to put that knowledge into context and to be able to actually apply it. So for example, if you've always wanted to learn a bit of programming or you're already quite advanced at it, you can go on to Brilliant. There's a range of different skill sets that you can do lessons from and you can do a little bit each day to build up your habits, especially if you think you're quite busy and your schedule is quite packed. You can do it on your phone, on the bus, on the train. So if that sounds good and you want to try out Brilliant for free for a full 30 days, visit the link brilliant.org slash Sami, or you can click the link down below in the description. I'm also going to have a QR code up here as well if you want to scan that. This link will also give you a 20% off of the annual subscription. So go check it out and let's get back on with the tips. So what have I said so far? Make sure you plan everything out and do questions, okay? So right now, what you should be thinking is tomorrow I'm going to be doing X, Y, Z, okay? I'm going to be doing this topic. I'm going to be doing this topic. I'm going to be doing this topic. You don't want to say tomorrow I'm going to do maths. You want to say tomorrow I'm going to focus on, I don't know, straight line graph, okay? And then when you come to tomorrow, what you're going to be doing on that day is you're going to focus on doing exam questions on straight line graphs until you know that okay fine I know straight line graphs and I can get these questions correct and if you realize that you just cannot do the questions entirely move back a step watch a few videos come back to questions until you get the hang of those questions okay because questions is the best way to improve and to do better and now the next tip I want to give to you guys and this one depends if you have any past exams is to look over questions you did in topic tests that you've had or across the years if you've had any sort of like mini tests or anything like those that you've done if you've kept them or you've got like any places where you can access the questions that you've done go over them and see what you got wrong and why you got it wrong okay so try and like look over the papers that you've done beforehand if you still have access to them uh, and if you don't okay this is a really important thing when you get your mock exams when you get the marks and everything keep them with you when the exams do come about you're going to switch from revising for everything as a whole to focusing on an exam by exam basis okay so you're going to look at week one and you're going to look at what exams you have that day and you're only going to be revising those exams in that order and then you go to week two and you revise for those exams in that order okay so you kind of bunch it up in terms of weeks and try and dedicate your revision because that's especially in this really like compact time that you have when it's mocks it's really difficult to do everything so you kind of want to leave like for example leave organic for a bit for the next week because maybe you're going to have your organic exam the next week or anything like that that's really important try and use that to help you in terms of planning and in terms of doing those questions that i originally asked you guys to do the only really tip i have for you guys and i've been saying this from the very start of this video i've been trying to drill it into you guys is to do those questions and to look over those topic questions as much as you can and to just continually do them to the point where you get better at each topic and then move on to the next topic if that makes sense you think there's more to it but genuinely that's it as long as you do those questions you're going to be fine and yeah apart from that those were all my tips it's just quite a compact concise video that i made today so i hope it somewhat helped and it made you feel a lot better about your exams that are coming up and i wish you the best of luck for any exams that you have whether it's in year 12 year 11 year 13 year 10 whatever good luck even if you're in uni like me and you have exams coming up good luck for those two subscribe and i'll see you guys next week